Hello Gretel, welcome back um, to Edge Blush uh, Virtual Academy. Um, we are still looking at electric circuits and um, in my previous presentation, I tried to explain um, everything about a parallel circuit and uh, I've also tried to make a comparison between a parallel circuit and a series circuit. Now in this presentation, I'm going to look at a calculation. I'm going to draw an electric circuit which has got three resistors, two resistors connected parallel and in series with another resistor, which is unknown. And then we look at um, questions around that uh, particular circuit. So I want you to have a piece of paper where you are going to draw this circuit uh, so that when we do our calculations, uh, our software won't allow us to go back to the diagram. But at least you'll be looking at the diagram and I'll be looking at the diagram also because I've got it separately so that we do our calculations together. So I'm going to draw a circuit diagram and uh, we look at uh, different questions around that uh, circuit diagram. Right. So remember I said in my previous presentation, you need a power supply uh, for you to be able to have an electric circuit which is going to be functional. I've got an ammeter there. I'm not analyzing the circuit as well. I'm just drawing it. And then when we look at questions, that's when we are going to be analyzing each and every component that is connected or linked to this electric circuit. And analyzing an electric circuit before you answer the questions will actually open up, will actually allow you to think outside the box so that you can be able to understand what is really taking place or what is happening in that particular circuit. So we have a nice circuit diagram here, and this one resistor on top, and this is six ohm resistor, and I've got a V3 here, um, which is not given. And then we have another resistor here, which is it is just labeled resistor R. it's not known and then we have got a voltmeter reading which gives us six volts like that and then everything goes back then we have got vt connected up across the power supply as usual so that is the circuit diagram that we have quite a nice circuit diagram which has got a parallel connection, six ohm and three ohm resistors are connected in parallel, but they are both connected in series with the resistor R, which is unknown. Now we move on to our questions. Uh, question A, it says calculate the reading on V3. Calculate, calculate the reading right on V3. I think all of us, we can see v3 that voltmeter that is connected across the three ohm resistor then we have got item number b which says this one we don't have to calculate what is the potential difference what is the potential difference right across across the six ohm resistor across the six ohm resistor Question mark, give a reason for the answer. So this one we don't calculate. Reason for the answer. So this is item number B. Item number C, calculate the resistance of the parallel connection. This one is a piece of cake. Resistance of the parallel connection of the real right. Then item number D says calculate the potential difference of the battery. Calculate the potential difference of the battery. Letting VT. 
calculate the potential difference of the battery, right, which is VT. Item number E, calculate the current through ammeter A, and that is the total current of the circuit. Calculate the current through ammeter A, All right? Item number F, calculate the resistance of resistor R, that unknown resistor. Calculate the resistance, right? Calculate the resistance of resistor R, right? Of resistor R. So I want to allow you to finish up on drawing the circuit diagram. Why? Because I'm going to be moving away from this page and you must be able to follow so that when I do my calculations, we are all going to be looking at the same circuit diagram and uh, we can be able to refer back to whichever component that we want to talk about. So just complete uh, your circuit, just make sure that it's complete and then I'm going to take you to the second page where I'm going to be calculating question by question. Now, before I take you to the next page for calculations, I just want to analyze this circuit diagram. We can analyze it together as we look at it. That ammeter that we have there, remember we are looking at conventional current which flows from the positive terminal to the negative. So we are taking everything, our current flows from the positive terminal. So that ammeter that you see there, it measures the total current of the circuit. But we have another ammeter there which has got two amps. That 2M is not the total current of the circuit. It is just the current that passes through that pathway, the 3 ohm resistor pathway. So when your current passes through that ammeter, it comes to the junction, it divides. Because remember, this is a parallel connection now. There are two pathways. Some current will take the 3 ohm resistor. Some current will take the 3 ohm resistor. So the 3 ohm resistor takes 2M. The other pathway, we don't know. But if I can use logic, if I can use my reasoning like a science, Elena, I can tell Kuri, the 6 ohm resistor is going to get half of the current. Remember, we said current and resistance are inversely proportional. A pathway with higher resistance will get lower current. So if 3 ohm is getting 2, then what about 6 ohm? It, it, we have doubled the resistance. So obviously we divide also by two our current so before i do any calculation i would want to guess that the six ohm uh, pathway is going to get one m we are going to prove that through calculation right and then what else do we need there so the three ohm and the six ohm resistors are connected in parallel but they are both connected in series which is with the resistor r which is not known as yet but the voltmeter across resistor R gives us 6 volts, which means if I can get the total current of the circuit, I can get that unknown resistor. I'm, I'm trying to open up, to unpack everything so that you guys can understand how these things work. I'm saying if I can get the total current of the circuit, which is the reading of that ammeter, uh, and we know we are using Ohm's law, the formula which says V is equal to IR. So in other words, I'm saying if I can get the total current, and then I've got my voltmeter reading across R. V is equals to I R. So V is given it's six current is the total current. Then I can be able to get R, which is the unknown resistor. Right. Or another option is to calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Then you calculate the parallel resistance. You subtract the difference gives you the resistor R, which is unknown. So I'm taking you to the next page where I am going to be doing uh, calculations and I'm going to be calculating one item at a time. So let's start calculating the reading on V3. I think V3 is much easier for us. What's the Ohm's law? V is goes to IR. So our V3 is connected across the three Ohm resistor. 
right? And we said last time, we use corresponding values. So we use the resistance for that path, uh, where the voltmeter is, and we use the current that passes through that point. So V is equals to IR, so V is equals to the current that passes through that pathway is two times the resistance. We don't use the total resistance. We only use the resistance where the voltmeter is, which is three. So in other words, V3, the reading is six volts. That is the answer. Then you get all the marks. Is that okay? And then item number B, allow me to do item number B, the other side, because of space. I am trying to save space here. Uh, how, will, how can I do this one? Okay, fine. So item number B says, uh, what is the potential difference across, right? What? We are not calculating anything here. What is the potential difference across the six ohm resistor? Give a reason for the answer. This is a principle that we should adopt from parallel circuit. We said if the resistors are connected in parallel, potential difference is the same. So we understand that the potential difference of the three ohm resistor and the potential difference of the six ohm resistor is the same because the two resistors are connected in parallel. So the answer, the potential difference across six ohm resistor is also six volts. That is the first answer. But they want an explanation. Give a reason. The reason is uh, the six ohm resistor, right? The six ohm resistor is connected. in parallel all right with with the three ohm resistor with the three ohm so potential difference is the same potential difference is the is the same right let's go to item number c I'll try to move right. Calculate the resistance of the parallel connection. The parallel connection, three ohm and six ohm resistors are the ones which are connected in parallel. So we want that uh, parallel uh, resistance, which is very simple. There are two options that I'm going to use um, and you choose the one that is easier for you. So I'm going to um, put on one right and then up on the other side and then we compare the two answers and see if we are getting the same answer so the first one i'm going to use the traditional method of calculating parallel resistance that most of us we are familiar with which says one over rp is equal to one since we've got only two resistors in parallel plus one over r2 so 1 over RP is equals to 1 over our R1. Let's use 3 ohm resistor is our R1. So it's 1 over 3. Plus our R2 is 6, so it's 1 over 6. Is that OK? Which gives us, we need a calculator there. 1 over 3, 1 divided by 3 plus 1 over 6, right? 1 over 6. That gives me 1 over 2. Right? So we reciprocate both the sides. On the left side, it becomes RRP over one. Any number divided by one, it remains itself. So it becomes RRP is equals to what you have done to the left hand side, you do it to the right hand side. So that one also becomes two over one, which gives you two ohm. Is that okay? So that is the parallel uh, resistance, right? Then option number two, we use the formula which says RRP is equals to, we use the formula which says RP is equals to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. So in other words, we are saying product over sum. So RP is equals to, our R1 is 3 times our R2 is 6, right? And then our R1 is 3 plus 6 which gives us six by three, gives us 18 or six plus three, that's nine. So therefore, our RP is equals to 
two ohms. So when we have got two resistors in parallel, it is actually up to us to choose the right method that we want, which is easier, which is uh, a bit uh, light for us. I'm done with item number C. Let's move on to item number D. Uh, the calculation is nice, eh? you know. When you know your basics, you know when you know your stuff, you don't have to stress a lot because everything becomes very clear and very interesting. Now, item number D, calculate the potential difference of the battery. Now, um, how do we calculate the potential difference of the battery? The potential difference of the battery is the VT. But we know, yeah, God, we know that uh, the parallel connection is connected in series with the resistor R. I hope you are following that. So, V3, the voltmeter across 3 ohm, we calculated it and it gave us 6 volts, which means the voltmeter across 6 ohm also gives us what? 6 volts. Which means if we, calc if we put VP, we connect another voltmeter before the current divides and soon after current is combined, that VP reading is also going to give us 6 volts. Now, the moment we get that 6 volts from VP, it means now we are treating this as a series circuit. So what it means is now we treat the parallel connection as one unit, right? So in other words, our VT is going to be, because now we are treating it as a series circuit, and in a series circuit, potential difference divides. So in other words, our VT is going to be VP plus the voltmeter reading across a resistor R, which is 6 volts, right? So VT, which is the potential difference across the, the battery, is going to be, our VP is the same as V3, which is also 6, plus 6. So VT is equals to 12 volts. Now, this answer you can hang on. We can prove it later. How? We, we, we prove it uh, when we get the total current of the circuit and when we get the total resistance, we can still uh, prove our VT using the Ohm's law, which says V is equal to what? Which V is equal to IR. Right, so they calculate the potential difference of the battery. That is the potential difference of the battery, VT. I've just uh, decided to use the parallel connection as one unit. And the rating of that voltmeter across that parallel connection will be equivalent to V3 because it's a parallel connection, which is 6 volts. So 6 plus that other voltmeter across R, 6 plus 6 gives me 12 because I'm now treating it as a series circuit. So you see that I'm making an application of basic principles of our calculation. Right. Item number E, calculate the current through ammeter A. Yeah, this one is, uh, how do we calculate that? Uh, since we know that our VP is equivalent to V3, which is six, why can't we take advantage of the parallel connection and calculate the total current? Because when we calculate VP, we need to use the total current. Let me just try to sketch the circuit here. Uh, this is item number E that we are looking at now. So our circuit, uh, we are having a pathway, all right, which is three ohm resistor, right? And uh, there is two amp there. And then we have got six ohm here, all right? and then we go there and then it goes like this and this is v this is v3 now what i'm saying here is if we put a voltmeter here across the six ohm resistor this voltmeter gives me the same reading as the v3 right and if i put another voltmeter 
and call this VP, right? And come and connect it here. This VP reading will give me the same reading as V3 because it's a parallel connection. So in other words, my VP is also going to be six volts because it's a parallel what? It's a parallel connection, right? But if you followed the previous calculation, how I calculated a VP, so for me to get that VP, I'm going, because VP is connected before current is divided, I'm putting a dot where, look closely on the diagram. VP is connected before current is divided and after current is combined. So it means when I calculate VP using V equals IR, I'm using the total current because it's connected before current is divided. And I'm using the total parallel resistance, which I've already calculated. So I can quickly calculate it here. VP is equals to IR, right? So VP is equals to, VP I have, sorry, I'm calculating current, right? Okay, it's fine. So VP I have, so I'm just saying VP is equals to, the current that I use is the total current, is the resistance I use is the parallel resistance. So VP we have is six, and then current is what we are looking for, the parallel resistance we have calculated it above, which is two, right? So you divide both the sides by two, you realize that uh, your current, which is actually the total current, is equals to three amp. That is the answer for E. That is the total current of the circuit. Simple as that. Now, if I just want to probe you a bit, I just want to open up, uh, try to unpack this question for you, friends. Remember when I started, just go back to the circuit diagram, look at it as, a, as I am explaining to you. I said 3 ohm and 6 ohm resistors. 3 ohm is half of 6, right? And we know that current and resistance are inversely proportional, right? So if 3 ohm is getting 2 ohm, 6 ohm must get half of 2 ohm. That's what I said when we started. So if you say that part takes 2 amp and the 6 ohm part takes 1 amp, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 2 gives you 3 amp. Now, let's go back to our calculation. Is it true that we got 3 amp as the total current? Yes, our answer is 3 amp, which means now it's confirmed that the 6 ohm pathway only accommodated 1 amp because it has got a higher resistance right let's go to the last calculation which is our f uh, let's go to the last calculation which is f what are we calculating now on f f we are calculating calculate the resistance of resistor r now see where resistor r is it's along the main way the main pathway so since now we have got um now we have got the total current so i can say the total current of the circuit all right is equals to three amp right and uh, the voltage across a resistor r is given 6v so we use the same formula v is equals to ir v is given which is six I use the total current because R is along the main line when current is moving in one pathway. So the current we use there is the total uh, current, which is three times uh, R, which is what we are looking for. So divide both the sides by three, divide both the sides by three. So three and three goes, therefore resistor R is equals to two ohm. That is resistor R, which is unknown. So that is the electric circuit, friends. Uh, that is how you attack these questions. Not that difficult. We just have to observe the basics of our electric circuit. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to meet again in our next presentation. And I'm still going to be sourcing out other relevant and uh, very interesting questions need to apply almost all the fundamentals, all the 
concepts of our series and parallel circuit and then we revise more questions and then we move on to the next topic thank you so much for joining edge blush and uh, we love you all.